Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for refusing to apologize to my boyfriend's mother. I've been dating my boyfriend, who's 32 for just over two months now, and we recently made things official. Everything has been going really well, and he's been amazing. Since it's still a new relationship we haven't met each other's families yet. Last night after he got out of work, I came over and we had a nice night in. He works in the air so obviously he likes to keep it low-key after a shift, which I am totally fine with. This morning after we woke up and enjoyed a little morning in bed I offered to make coffee for us. I tossed on a tank top and was in the kitchen making it when I hear his front door opening. I freak out, freeze for a moment in panic and see the face of some women. That's why I go into flight mode and ran as fast as possible into the bedroom. Like I swear I moved like Usain Bolt from that kitchen. I threw door shut behind me and shouted to my BF that a woman just entered his apartment. He looked so confused, but went out to see what is up. A minute later I heard raised voices for maybe three to four minutes, no idea how long because I was still so shocked, then a door slamming. So my boyfriend hurried in and was apologizing like crazy. He started explaining that his mom had decided to let herself in with the key she had for emergencies only or to feed the cat if he was away etc. She claims she had texted him letting know she was swinging by because she was in the area and wanted to drop something off. His phone was on, do not disturb, because we were sleeping and such. I was mortified because I had never met his mom as things are still new, and this was her first impression of me. I'm not exactly sure how much she saw as it is all such a blur, but either way it's not good. He said he demanded his emergency key back from her and told her to get out. His phone then begins to blow up with angry texts. She was demanding an apology from me, and apparently had some less than nice things to say. She also let him know she doesn't ever want to meet me unless I give her a sincere apology for my behavior. He let her know that wouldn't be happening, and that it was her that owed us both an apology, as she overstepped invading his privacy. I just want to pretend this never happened. He reassured me we are fine, and that he was putting her in a time out of sorts. I don't want his mom to hate me, but he is adamant that she isn't owed an apology because she is at fault. Would I be the offer not apologizing? The good, my relationship is better than ever, this messy event actually made us closer, and made my complete trust in him solidified. He has joked about the ridiculousness of the situation, trying to, make me feel better, and not ashamed. He jokingly said now I can just walk around totally naked haha. I can't remember if I mentioned in the comment replies, he got the locks and code changed. The crazy, since he put her on a timeout and silenced his mom's calls and messages, she's attempted to reach him from his dad's phone. His dad wasn't aware or pleased with that. Then up the ante by calling him at work. Which fortunately when you work in the air you can't just be reached unless it's a major emergency. So she left a message for him to call her back, which he didn't. He double-checked with his dad to make sure everything was okay though. Next since that tactic didn't work she showed up at his place when he wasn't home because she doesn't know his schedule currently and guess what? She was floored she couldn't get in. I guess she assumed he wouldn't change his code and did have an extra key made. Shocking, huh? The sarcasm, duly noted. So in conclusion she went home had a massive tantrum slash meltdown, and apparently spent two days crying in bed. This according to the dramatic email she wrote. Oh and she can't eat either her last message, a handwritten letter sent via mail requesting that we all meet up to clear the air and formally meet. He sent her a quick text letting her know the more she pushed the longer he is taking time away. So, it has been radio silence for almost two weeks. Yay. Just a side note, people warned me that I should reconsider being with my boyfriend, because this is what our future will be. He has shown me that even in our few months together he won't tolerate anyone mistreating or disrespecting me. He has a spine, and is a very amazing man and partner. Okay so I finally met the mother. This weekend was my boyfriend's father's 70th birthday, and they were having a huge party for him. Obviously my boyfriend wanted me to come with him, things are still going insanely well despite the incident with his mother. She seemed to have finally accepted, she won't be making demands or dictating his behavior etc. She has been on her best behavior but we have avoided a meet up with just her because I knew that would be weird and I honestly want to pretend what happened slash what she may have seen didn't happen. Yeah rugs sweeping like a grown up. We have been together for about six months at this point so I mean it was time to meet the parents, he has met mine already, and we are already using the word, love. 
We decided that me attending the party with him would be a good neutral ground, and she wouldn't bring up the incident in front of guests. I mean, how could that conversation have gone? Hey, nice to meet you. Sorry you may have seen me half naked in your son's kitchen. Nope. Anyway, the party was fun and there were a lot of people at the venue. His dad reminds me of him and is very nice. His mother, wait for it, embraced me in a huge hug. She went on and on about how she was dying to meet me. She wanted to introduce me to her friends and was almost overly sweet and complimentary. I think she was laying it on thick because of how our one and only non-meeting went. It was definitely obvious she didn't gossip about the incident because she was showing me off to her friends who apparently she had been sharing what little tidbits about me my partner had told her about me I smiled and pretended like it wasn't a bit awkward, but you would never have known that after the original episode this woman went absolutely insane. I'm keeping my guard up though. So I think for now we are good, and we never had to have a weird sit down. Will it eventually be brought up someday? Who knows I am comfortable with where things are. Oh, and just a side note because I don't I mentioned this in my prior post, one of the reasons she was apparently so upset was she said to my boyfriend that I looked so young. I was 25 at the time, now 26, and he's 32. I have heard prior that I do look young for my age and always get caught for everything. I think she was assuming the worst, but our age difference is totally normal. Well that's it Reddit, I think we are in a decent place, and this didn't end up being a total catastrophe. Sometimes things on Reddit don't divorce, an unexpected pregnancy with twins or someone wearing white to a child-free wedding. Thanks for the input from those I interacted with. I'm glad it didn't mess everything up. I know it is generally best to deal with matters head-on, but I think this is a situation that is okay to pretend her seeing me didn't happen. He handled the issue with her invading his privacy and overstepping. That's all that matters really. And in a shocking twist, from most Reddit posts, no one rallied the troops to get involved. Top comment. One person commented. It's too late, she already hates you. But don't worry, she would hate any woman your boyfriend is with. OOP. Ugh, he did mention that she keeps in contact with his ex-girlfriend and her mother, so I'm not sure if that is a factor she seems to be quite conservative and was pressuring him to marry the ex and give her grandkids. I only know that part because he was upfront when we first started dating that he didn't want kids. I don't either, and we commiserated over the pressure. Another person commented. Ah, uh, he's not going to change. I know you are smitten with him, but huge red flags. It's not going to get better. I mean, she's harassing the ex-girlfriend about not giving her grandkids? You are nah, but I would run away as fast as I could. Pretty soon you'll be the ex she's harassing. It's so much easier said than done, especially coming from some random stranger. OOP. Oh no, she is friends with the ex and her mother, which she isn't happy about. The ex didn't want to break up and it sounds like his mom was campaigning for them to stay together or get back together, at least in the past if not the present. She was harping on him about grandkids despite knowing he doesn't want them, she feels he owes her. He actually plans on getting the snip. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.